Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to One Larval Tier PvP. This is part one of the series, and in this video we're going to be focusing on intelligence, dexterity, and strength. So if you have a lot of weapons that scale with these attributes, this is going to be a good video for you. I went ahead and sampled all the weapons that natively scale with intelligence, dexterity, and strength in Elden Ring. And I picked the weapons that work the best in PvP, and I made builds around those. We all know that larval tiers are a limited resource in Elden Ring. So the point of these videos is to make all the builds that you can make with that same weapon scaling without having to waste any more larval tiers in doing so. So we're going to have the same exact stat attributes for every one of these builds, and we're only going to use different weapons, different playstyle, different spells, pretty much a whole different character, but we're not going to have to respect, we're not going to have to go to the queen, and we're not going to have to use any more of those larval tiers. My goal is to do this for every weapon scaling family in the game. Um, so let's start off right now with intelligence, dexterity, and strength. Keep in mind that these builds are going to be tailored to the meta in PvP, which is right now anywhere from level 150 to 200. I'm not going to do any exploitative builds. I want all my builds to be fun to play, as well as effective. And I'm going to let you guys in a little secret that I'm using for some of my builds in PvP. I'm using the Winged Crystal Tier. Um, Winged Crystal Tier is your friend in PvP in Elden Ring, I assure you. Um, if you add that tier to your Physic, you don't have to worry about equipment load at all, which means that you can use any armors you want, you can use as many weapons as you want, because that uh, Physic is going to last for three minutes. The Winged Crystal Tier lasts for three minutes, which is long enough for you to do any invasion, any uh, duel, and most Colosseums. I use that tier for some of my builds if the equipment load is too heavy. If not, I'll use the Opaline uh, Crystal Tier, which gives me more armor, or I'll use the Crimson Whirl, or the Crimson Bubble Tier, which gives you health when your HP gets low. It effectively gives you a decent amount of health um, added to your maximum health. All those tiers are very good for PvP, and you should always be using your physic in PvP. For all six of these builds, I'm making a written guide below in the description. So if you guys want to head down there, you can check out an in-depth guide, all the details of the weapons, all the details of the spell. Okay, so let's start with the stats. These stats are going to use for every one of these builds. We're going to have at least 40 in Vigor. For Mind and Endurance, we're both going to have 18 points. And then for Strength and Intelligence, we're going to put 45 into both of those. And then we're going to put 60 into Dexterity. With Faith and Arcane, we're both going to put nothing into either one of those. So once you've respect into that, you can use any one of these builds and any one of these weapons, and you'll find yourself being pretty effective in PvP and having tons of fun. Thanks for taking the time to check me out. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll have more out shortly, continuing our series.